Hello friends, this video on decimals part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Decimals wherein we will discuss tenths and hundredths Decimals on number line Decimals as fractions Comparing decimals Application of decimals in money, length, weight Addition and subtraction of decimal numbers now, have you ever observed that when you visit a vegetable store or a grocery store, there are price tags. Now, sometimes the price tags read like these, like rupees 7.5 per kg. So, what is this point? Why do we have this point at all? Now, when you pick two, three tomatoes and put it on the weighing machine and the machine reads 0 0.5 kg, a point again. So, what is this point? Now, these numbers with a point are called decimal numbers. Now, we are going to dedicate this entire lesson trying to understand what are decimals and what are decimal numbers. Now, uh, in very simple words, any number which you see with a point somewhere in between, like 23.5, 69.332. So, wherever you have a point, so that means that number is a decimal number. So let us spend some time trying to understand what are decimals. Now, even before we see what are decimals, where do we use decimal numbers? So, so that, you know, we get to know that uh, what, what is our purpose of learning this entire lesson on decimals. When you weigh some object, whether it's uh, tomatoes or it's uh, a, a big bag of uh, maybe wheat or rice, or even if you are weighing yourself, so when you look at the weight, you see that you often come across decimal numbers like 49.5 kgs, 62.38 kgs and so on. So there we see that while weighing, so weight involves the use of decimal numbers. Not only really that, when you go to the vegetable market, the price tags often have decimal numbers like here, this is a picture of um, this is a clip taken from a uh, vegetable store and you see the price is mentioned in decimal numbers 2.49, 1.99, so here you can see 3.99, 2.49, 1.21, so everywhere you see decimal numbers, so th that's the price tags also have decimal numbers. Talk about temperature, now you would have seen the um, Temperature in the weather forecast report, it talks about the temperature of different places and it says today the temperature of this place is 22.2 degrees Celsius. So 22.2 .2 is again a decimal number. What is the normal temperature of our body? Like when we do not have fever and all, what is the normal temperature? The normal temperature is 98.3 degree Fahrenheit. So 98.3 is again a decimal number. Not only these, when you look into your bank account summary, you would see that uh, it involves a lot of numbers and they, it also involves decimal numbers like the interest rates of the banks on different kind of deposits are 9.1%, 5.5%, 7.2% 5 .5 and so on. So these are some uh, places or these are some examples where we make use of decimal numbers and that is why we need to know about them because we use them in our day to day life. So what are decimal numbers? Now these decimal numbers have a very close association with fractions. You know why? Because these decimal numbers, they give values of fractions. Now let us look at some fractions. So let's say that we take example of a fraction like 1 by 2. So if you take the example of 1 by 2 where the numerator is smaller and the denominator is bigger. So 1 by 2 is a fraction and how do you locate 1 by 2 on the number line? So the, the entire value of 1 by 2 would be less than 1. So, so we have already learned this right that in fractions also you have two types of fractions. One is a proper fraction where the numerator is smaller. The other one is an improper fraction where the denominator is smaller. So for numerator by denominator where the numerator is bigger let's take the example of say 5 by 2 so this 5 by 2 overall the overall value of this fraction would be get greater than 1 right so if we try to locate this 1 by 2 and 5 by 2 on the number line 
where are they located we see that all the fractions which are less than 1 the all the positive fractions they are located here so all fractions which are less than 1 they would be located somewhere between 0 and 1 rest all the fractions that is basically all the improper fractions would be located somewhere beyond 1 so here so all those fractions whose values are more than 1, they would be located somewhere here. So, I mean, and the number line goes till infinity. So, when we talk about fractions, whether we talk about proper fractions or we talk about improper fractions, you see that whenever it comes to fractions, we have two numbers. Like, it is like a ratio of two numbers. For example, this 1 by 2 is ratio of two numbers 1 and 2. Similarly, 5 by 2 is again ratio of two numbers 5 and 2. So, is there any other way by which we can write an exact value of these fractions? So, these fractions are basically made up of two numbers. So, how can we represent these fractions as one number? So, that is what we do with decimal numbers. So, decimal numbers give values of fractions. This 1 by 2 can be written as 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 and 1 by 2 are the same thing. But now, when you write it as 0 0.5, it is just one number. But it means the same thing as 1 by 2. Right? So, this point, the point which is exactly midway between 0 and 1, this point represents 1 by 2. This point also represents 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 is the value of the fraction 1 by 2 and 0 0.5 is a decimal number. Now, how can we say that 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5? That we will learn a little later. That how do we convert fractions to decimals or decimals to fractions? But for now, what I am trying to say is decimals give values of fractions. For example, 5 by 2. So, 5 by 2 can be written in the form of mixed fraction like this 2 and a half. So, this is mixed fraction and this is improper fraction, right? So, we have learned about these in, in the previous lesson on fractions. Now, this 2 and a half can also be written as 2.5. And what is 2.5? 2.5 is again a decimal number. So, you look at it. Whenever you talk about a fraction, whether it is improper fraction or mixed fraction, it is like combination of two numbers. But in this case, it is just one number, 2.5. So, 2.5 is the value of the fraction 5 by 2. So, this is the purpose of decimal numbers. So, decimal numbers are basically values of fractions. And all the decimal numbers, they have a decimal point. So, the presence of the decimal point tells us that this is a decimal number. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.